Hello everyone, we're going to be rendering a video now instead of a still picture. So let's look at what I've done to make this startup file. This startup file has a few things that have been changed already for you. So we do have a transparent background right now, even though uh, we don't really have a video format that will keep that transparency. But for rendering pictures, it's already taken care of for you. Our output has been changed to 10% uh, so that our test renders will happen very, very quickly, even on older machines. You can bump that to 20%, but when we get ready for the final, of course, we're going to up that to 100%. I like 30 frames per second. We'll keep that 250. You can change how long your video is just by modifying that number. And most importantly, the output right here that you'll need to change because this is on my computer with my user and you won't be able to render to my computer. So you need to choose your own folder by clicking here and going to your project folder. And then in Blender, I've made an output folder, but you can render, you've got several videos in here you can see, but if you've got an output folder, you know right where to go to get your stuff. So I'm gonna change that. I've changed this to an MPEG-4 video. Clicked here and chose MPEG. Change the container. This is very old Russian format. Change it to MPEG. QuickTime does have transparency. However, it makes very large files and not all computers have that installed. So we're gonna just go with standard MP4 with an H.264 codec. Uh, if you like, you can bump this up to high quality as well. And we've got some adjustments to the world. We've got our global illumination set to two instead of one. Everybody's model will have a different number. And we also have the ability to save this as a startup file. Now, before you do that, this automatically pack resources is critical because any textures that are imported with the DAE file from your Collada folder are coming from a separate folder with the JPEGs. You want them to be part of the Blender file so you no longer have to rely on that folder. So when you've got this opened up, you can save it as your startup file. So I'm going to click Save Startup File. And now, whenever I close Blender and open it back up again, It's already got those changes made. You can see that the external data is packed. Now I'm going to save this as a startup file for us so that we can have a file named a little differently, startup all caps, and then the date I made it, standard video renders. You can download this, make it your startup, change the location of the output folders, and you'll be in pretty good shape to start animating. So I'm just going to click right there, save as startup. You don't have to do this. It's been done for you. But if you make your own, it's going to save the file because you can always go back to the factory resets and go to default, load factory settings. And when I start a new one, I'm back to my, well, let me see, file defaults, load factory settings. There we go. So that's our cube with the light over there and the camera at an angle. So we can just open our startup file and make it our standard. Again, needing to change the output to a folder that you actually have. And saying default save startup file. Now we're ready to bring in our model and start our rendering. 